What's up guys, Jiraiya FIFA here and welcome to another episode of Manchester United All-Stars Season 2, Episode Number 37. So guys, we're picking up what we left off in the last episode, going up against Juventus. This is the second leg and of course guys, we're playing with Old Trafford, which is probably going to play into our, our ends. Hopefully it definitely does and I definitely be very, very good for us to as well to move on, especially since we've been dominating so far guys. We pretty much have the league wrapped up, so we definitely have all our focus. We want to definitely push into these other competitions we have and this is definitely one so if you guys follow the last episode you guys know or follow the last time we played uh, in the champions league you guys will know we definitely drew 1-1 with juventus so we need to definitely make sure we definitely pull off the win here especially playing at home so we decided we wanted to go with a 4-3-3 formation one of the reasons i wanted to do that guys we know juventus like to play that pat midfield so we wanted to definitely have three sitting in front of the defenders and see how this worked for us you can see there guys gondogan fletcher and Herrera sitting in the front and of course we have rooney nanny and of course valencia in the front three up front which i think can definitely cause juventus some problems so juventus is going to be playing a 3-1-4-2 formation and of course the front four is definitely going to be sitting in behind the two men up front tevez and bill so it's going to be a very interesting one but nevertheless guys will pick us up in the eight minute and of course rafael in the bar here passing for valencia who spats the run of rooney right away pumps it up front form he goes for the low strike there and the keeper makes a save their fingertip in that one they try to cross this one out we managed to win it back on dogan they were trying to play it back into rooney was blocked goes for the strikers block and eventually clear this one out and then again guys we pressure them so much them pushing forward and of course eventually it fall to valencia who plays it in for nani and look at that strike there guys what a strike from nani there in the 14th minute to give us the first goal of the game which puts us up now guys 2-1 in aggregate and of course we need to definitely get some more goals it's never good pretty much holding on to a one point or a one goal lead because it just never never pays off sometimes we definitely want to go and back as much as we can so we're looking to do that but of course guys i must say the keeper definitely made it a lot easier for nanny and of course you can see all he had to do was just finish that one around the keeper now parallel push four guys some nice one two passes there in between bell and of course you can see bell picks it back up he's trying to cross this one in and of course alexander butner is there to definitely top out that one and it goes straight into the keeper now we push forward again guys Valencia in the bar here and look at this cheeky pass here into Rooney who's going to hit it one time into the box and look who's there to finish it guys Alexander Butner he's just been outstanding this game uh this this guy we know he can definitely go for quite a bit and he's very good going forward too as well but he's not that great defending but I must say guys he was exceptional in this one as well it was a tough one between him and of course Valencia uh they were definitely immense as well in this one but you can see guys they were definitely trying to you know pretty much hold the play up and of course eventually all our hard work and pressure definitely paid off and look at this chip pass here over the top into valencia who hits it on the keeper there with a fingertip save again loris has just been outstanding and is the main person that's been saving them guys from of course conceding so at this point we definitely have an f the lead we're up two nil and of course three one and aggregate we wanted to definitely try and keep it this way cross this corner in trying to go for the editor there is blocked look at the striker guys it comes off one of their defenders and out and of course guys that means we pick up another corner so we're going to cross this one in again trying to get ahead onto this one and of course guys you can see we're not the greatest of header but it definitely come off one of the players and out again for another corner we decided to cross this one in again close range look at this here from rooney almost putting that one into the top corner there guys but unfortunately it goes over and into the stand but you can see guys we are up 3-1 in aggregate, 2-0 so far, of course, in the first half. And we're in the first half, we completely dominated. And look at that, guys. Barcelona is up 3-1 over Bayern 4 uh, So you can definitely speculate they'll be going through. But look at the stats, guys. One shot for them, one in target, 45% of the ball. We have seven, five on target, and 55% of the ball. Completely dominating them. And hopefully, we can definitely continue to do that in the second half. So we're going to kick the second half off, guys. And, of course, it's going to be Juventus to kick this one off. So we pick this up in the 63rd minute. Fletcher winning the ball there for pressuring him again. Look at this right pass here in for Nani who lets the ball run past him. Then open himself up trying to go for the finish shot. The keeper made the save. But unfortunately, the keeper could not stop that man Valencia who's been outstanding so far from pretty much getting down low and hitting that one into the bottom of the net. Look at that there, guys. Outstanding. Um, you know, definitely a good goal. But we made some changes, guys. Every time with Burial, we brought down well back. 
and of course guys wanted to definitely had some more flares and more power and of course guys you can see after the pick up the throw and cross this one in and Butner again is back defending and look at this guys Perla had a glorious chance to try and at least get a goal back and he put that one wide so we're in the 79th minute playing out of our own half you can see Everton Ribeiro the man that just came in on the ball dictating the game pretty well Welbeck chipped this one in for Fletcher Fletcher's going to hold the player pretty well cuts it back beats the defender there cuts into the box Welbeck picks it up goes for the finish shot it's blocked goes to Royce Royce cross it in and Rooney with a glorious chance guys and he put it wide and then look at this cross here what a perfect way to cross into of course the feet of Royce Royce wanted to get on the goal goes for the attempt here it's blocked Rooney with a <laughs> bicycle kick and the keeper made a save and then the rebound came off Rooney and the keeper made the save Loris has been outstanding he's definitely been a man for me I would say of course of Juventus so definitely the man of the match uh, for Juventus but for us guys it was a tough one between Valencia and Butner and to be honest I probably I would give it to both of them if I could um, but nevertheless guys Valencia was just really outstanding and of course you can see rightfully so he picked up the man of the match you can see your outstanding performance from the lads 13 shots 9 on target 54% of the ball we completely dominated Juventus especially with the fact that they were playing a lot more players in midfield as well we completely dominated them and what a game it was so guys we'll be moving on into the next round and what a round it will be we'll be going into the quarterfinals and of course guys we'll be facing off against Barcelona and look at that guys Atletico Madrid went through Real Madrid went through Borussia Dortmund went through and of course you can see the guys Bayern Munich went through and Chelsea Chelsea got knocked out that was really unfortunate so we we're probably the only English team left in it and of course we're trying to win it as well so hopefully we can definitely pick up the win that'd be great for us as well and of course pretty much ending off our season in a bank so with that said guys you can see there Raphael turns down Manchester United contract offer and I must say guys he's been a problem child to be honest we don't know what to do with this guy maybe we should sell him not quite sure we'll see what happens though but nevertheless guys we're going into some pretty interesting interesting games as you guys can see at the top there guys yes that's germany and we have some international game for you guys make sure you guys stay tuned if you guys enjoyed this episode be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new here share the videos and we'll see you guys in the next episode peace